I got a text from Kristen um, that was like, can you do an American accent and do you like working with me? And I said, yes to both. And then the ball started rolling from there. Our characters are very yin yang. We kind of play off of each other very well. I think there are times when she's the sort of devil on the shoulder and I'm the angel and then vice versa. It's really fun. It's really fun. I think it's always fun to play a character that breaks the rules because I think most people want to break the rules a little bit or do break the rules. I think actually what we're taught is that good people follow the rules, but I think what the truth is is that everyone breaks the rules. Some people get caught. Some people are watched more. Some people are punished more, but everyone breaks the rules in some way. Um, so it's kind of fun to play a character that flagrantly breaks the rules. and. Breaks the rules, I think, in a very gray way, which is what I think we're dealing with in the world in general of like, things aren't black and white. Queen Pins is based on a true story. It's based on three housewives in Arizona who actually pulled off this, this coupon heist. Um, and um, the what's interesting is there's a show called Extreme Coupon as well. There was a show um, which got canceled, but part of the reason I learned why it got canceled were because a lot of the people on the show were using coupons that came from this coupon scam. So then obviously the the show got into legal issues and so the show had to shut down. But that's sort of how far this spread. It wasn't just like this tiny little thing. This was people were using these coupons to the point where they were even using them on this show. Working with Aaron and Geet, it's the first time I've ever worked with two directors on a project and I've always been curious as to how that would work. And it's great. I think they come from different angles. You know, Aaron has come from the world of editing, and so I think he sees things much more technically. And Gita comes from a, the sort of, she approaches things more from the emotional. And so when you get notes, you kind of get a little bit of each from them. Um, and they're both also very, very warm. They had a very clear idea of what they wanted from this film. It's a comedy, and it's about these women, but they want it to be real and grounded and not broad and you know they come from documentary filmmaking and drama and so I think that they've just found a really interesting way of presenting a comedy in a way that still feels very very relatable and doesn't feel sort of outlandish it feels I mean it is based on a true story and I think you you get that when you watch it it, it doesn't feel far-fetched at all